Google recently announced its own agent development framework called Agent Development Kit, or ADK. They also run a hackathon for people to build stuff using ADK, and I would have loved to participate, if not only because I was not eligible because of the place where I live. I, s I still want to build something because I'm convinced that agentic AI automation is pretty much the future, especially when combined with model context protocol MCP. But more about that later. So having experience working on manufacturing, I know there's a struggle that a lot of people have to deal with pretty much every day. And that struggle is called SAP. If you don't know anything about SAP, all you need to know is that it's complex technologies that are used by the biggest companies in, and governments in the world to manage their critical processes, finance, logistics, sales, and pretty much uh, anything else. And I'm not exaggerating when I say that SAP tends to become the brain of a company's digital ecosystem. So I thought, what if I create an agent team that carries out some of the most popular and laborious processes of SAP, introducing the order to cash agent team. So just to keep things simple, in the business to business world, Order to cash encompasses processes like sending out quotes, fulfilling sales orders, shipping goods to customers, and finally collecting payment from customers. So there's two major challenges that I found when building the order to cash agent team. First, you have communicating with SAP, which is a challenge on its own. Turns out sales order have their own APIs, quotations have their own APIs, inventory has their own APIs, and each of this works in a completely different way to accommodate the complexity of the SAP system itself. Which, by the way, you don't have like an SAP installer that you install on your Mac. SAP requires enterprise level Linux distribution and like hundreds of gigabytes of memory and a bunch of CPU cores in order to run. And then challenge number two is you have to come up with a structure of an agent team that understands the order to cash process such that you have multiple agent members that talk to each other and know the final goal of the order to cash business process. Okay, so for the first challenge, what I did was I built an MCP server that connects to SAP's OData APIs. So they have all these APIs documented in their sap.com website. And then you have, if you search by sales order, for example, you'll find the APIs that any modern SAP S4 system exposes for you to create, read, update, and delete uh, sales orders. So the same happens with the quotations and similar things happened with inventory and stuff like that. So what I did was I downloaded the API specifications and then used Gemini in agent uh, mode to make all these API specifications into MCP tools. And I did all of this because ADK supports MCP tools. So since I know JavaScript, it was very easy for me to grab all these uh, TypeScript, uh, predefined and pre-provisioned types and make all of this into MCP tools. So these 13 SAP APIs contain in total 83 API endpoints, which I made into MCP tools. So now this MCP server that is in my local laptop is accessible to an ADK agent team or basically any other AI agent like Anthropics, Claude, or GitHub agent mode or pretty much anything else. So now that I have the tools for the agent team, the next step is building the team itself. So for this proof of concept, I'm not going to replicate an end-to-end -end sales to order process, but I'm just going to test different parts of of the process just to make the point across and i designed a team of five agents out of which one of the one is the coordinator or root agent and then you have a product agent inventory agent sales order agent and delivery agent okay so the first demo is uh this sales order in sap this is sales order number 50 and here we can see the sales order contains two items 
uh, out of which one is one is two units and one is an additional unit with the particularity that uh, the first unit is or the first item in the sales order costs 33 dollars and the second order is zero dollars so this is like a buy two get one type of promotion so i'm going to try to get all this information on the mcp or the adk so this is my adk uh agent team that i'm running here i just run the adk web command and I'm going to try to get all this information through uh, ADK. So here I'll select the order to cash team. And I just say, uh, give me a summary of sales order 50. And it should use the MCP server to reach out to SAP and get all the information of sales order 50. Sometimes it happens that uh, it executes the tools, but it doesn't come back with the results. In this case, it did work. Uh, the total net amount is uh, $33. And if I ask uh, uh, which item do we have in that order, to bring uh, order 10 and 20 with, uh, there you go, item 10 and 20, where the net amount for for item 10 is $33 and for item 20 it's $0. So uh, this demonstrates that the MCP server is being used by the Google ADK agent team to reach out to this SAP instance. This is all uh, for demonstration purposes, nothing of this is real. Okay, the second demo that I wanted to show today was getting inventories from plants. So I just can go ahead and ask, uh, Give me inventories uh, of product TG13 from plant one, uh, 1710. And again, the agent team will use the MCP toolset to reach out to the SAP server and uh, retrieve inventories. Here it is saying that in plant uh, 1710, we have uh, 1950 units available in this storage location. So it even went further, provided more information. And there are 70 units in a store in this other storage location. So the information that it provides is, is quite accurate. And sometimes it just uh, goes the extra mile to provide you with even more information. Okay, the third and final test uh, or demo that I had for you uh, is the creation of a sales order. So I can uh, ask uh, the agent team to create a new sales order, uh, just like sales order 50, which we just uh, looked at. Uh, but this one, um, add one 150 pieces of product tg13 so this is a bit more complex since it has to retrieve the data of order 50 and then should go ahead and create a new sales order so it's asking for confirmation let's say go ahead So it first had to create the sales order, which is like the parent, uh, the parent entity, and then it goes ahead and creates the sales order items that we asked, so 150 units of product TG13. And uh, it did it, it says the new sales order is 5452, uh, similar to order 50, meaning the same customer with 150 pieces of of TG13. So now if I go on my SAP system and I put in the order number, uh, there you go. There's one, uh, one entry for this sales order of 150 pieces of uh, product TG13, which is this one. 
and is the same a customer as in our 50. So it, it accelerates the use of SAP and provides a lot of functionality. Um, of course, uh, the agent development kit uh, can uh, integrate with WhatsApp or Microsoft Teams or Google Chat and all of that. So it provides uh, at a glance access to your SAP system. Okay, that's what I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you want to replicate the exercise, the code of the agent team will be in the description. Thank you very much for watching. See you around.